Chicago faces an epidemic of gun violence. This year alone, more than 2,100 people have been shot, more than 400 killed. The 4th of July weekend was especially violent. Around 100 people were shot in just over four days. Adriana Diaz gained unique access in some of Chicago's toughest neighborhoods that weekend for CBSN On Assignment. Adriana, good morning. Good morning. Chicago police have already seized more than 5,000 guns from the streets of Chicago this year. Young men that we met on the south and west sides told us how easy it is to get illegal guns and why many never leave their homes without one. I know people who can't walk from their house to the store without a gun on them. Why is that a reality? Why do people feel like they have to have a gun on them? Because people getting killed left and right. It's sad. I got shot twice and I thought I'd been gone, but I'm still here, so that's God I know that that's with me, so this hell on earth. It ain't. It's hell on earth? Yeah, it's hell on earth. The problem we heard and saw over and over again was guns. We make sure our self-secure, we make sure our self-safe. CBS News gained access to several crews on Chicago's south side. Yeah, man, this is Mac right here, man. That's 50 shots, man. That's a Mac 10, a semi-automatic weapon originally designed for military use and illegal in Chicago. So why do you need guns with that much firepower? Protection. Exactly. It's dangerous out here. Mm -hmm. This South Side crew is affiliated with the group the Titanic Stones. They cover their faces to conceal their identities. They actually told us they hate guns. We ain't with this gun. I'm just doing this for survival, bro. Until. I could put my family and myself in a better predicament to where I need to be. Right. We're just trying to keep ourselves protected. Many guys told us they'd rather risk the police catching them with a gun than have their rival find them without one. Where do you get a gun like this? Where did you get this gun? Shoot, we got this Off up. the streets, people sell them. How easy is it for someone to get a gun? That easy. You want one? Yeah. No. Just like that. <laughs> That's you know? how easy it is. And it's worth it for you to keep this gun we felons, you know what I'm saying? Ain't nobody see, I mean, gonna give people, us no job. See, the cops I mean, don't give a fuck about us. But with so many innocent people dying by these bullets, that's good. Is it worth it? I no, mean, no. At that, at, at, and then it ain't worth it. But you got dumb off. You got want to go pull a drill, a drive by. You know what I'm saying? And someone innocent little sister gets shot. Now guess what? Them and them guys are coming back, and that's how the confrontation is just gonna keep going. Why not just stop. put the guns down? Put the guns down. Well, it probably will happen maybe in the near future. It's just <laughs> no time right now, you know? I don't want to put my gun down. Nine times out of 10, the innocent one's getting hurt, you know what I'm saying? If they do come shooting right now, we probably don't even get shot, and we got guns. You might get shot. That's how f***ed up it is, you know? But it's survive or be killed. That is some incredibly powerful reporting, Adriana. One of the things that's really unique about CBSN On Assignment is the ability to show our audience the ways that you get access to some of the stories, some of the people that you spoke to. How did you start a conversation and embed with these Chicago gangs? It wasn't easy. At first, when we met a lot of these guys, they were hesitant. They didn't trust us. They were like, what are you guys doing here? What are these cameras? Who are you? Um, and we were with locals who could kind of ease their worries and tensions and, and really help us gain credibility with the people we were trying to talk to. But it took time. We were there for seven days from the afternoon till after midnight most days. And we kept going back to the same people to gain that, their trust, to develop a relationship. And our main person that we focus on, his name is Paris. He goes by Stash. Um, the first time we met him, he didn't want anything to do with us. He was like, who are these people? You know, you guys aren't really here. We, you guys really don't care about us. And, you know, he totally didn't want to speak to us the first time. We went back. He opened up a little bit more. We went back. We interviewed him two or three times. By the end, he was opening up about his fears and his dreams. First time an interviewee offered you a gun. <laughs> first time, for sure. It's like, like your reaction. I mean, it's, um, it's nuts to see. But, it, um, but this is uh, an important story. Mm -hmm. It really was. And... and we're in a, an alley. I'm looking at his finger, making sure it's not too close to the trigger wow. to make sure there wasn't an accident. Wow. Incredible reporting, Adriana. Thank you. You can see Adriana's full report on the next CBSN On Assignment. Watch it Monday night at 10, 9 central here on CBS and on our streaming network, CBSN.